Hey guys, Tech Chris here, and I'm going to be bringing you new videos and different content than what I normally posted. I normally posted videos about tutorials, how to do stuff in Google Chrome, OBS, but I want to take my channel to a, a different way. Um, so this is going to be the first one. It's a notorious scam laptop that I ended up buying about six years ago. This laptop right here ended up costing me $40 total. Um, I bought it back then, 60 years ago, for about $300. At the time, it was worth $550. So to start the whole story out, I was selling stuff on eBay, and I decided, okay, well, I've got some money from building up wealth. My eBay business started like taking off. So I had about $800 laying around. I ended up buying a Wii, which I flipped for like $150, roughly in there, and I bought this and then I used the rest as just looking for items. So I ended up getting this, met the guy, he only lives about 20 minutes away, I met up with him, the laptop worked fine, didn't have a single problem wrong with this guy. And then I ended up taking it and listed on eBay. I listed on eBay for $550, and I did end up selling it for $500. Someone gave me an offer, and I accepted it. Well, they, received this laptop, I shipped it out to him, and it was all fine and dandy. And then two weeks later, they returned it to me. So obviously I gave them a refund because they said it was broken, and indeed it was when I got it. I got it back and I would turn it on, and I would have a notorious boot device not found screen on the screen. And I was like, oh, awesome, I got scammed. So I'm not sure if the buyer who bought this laptop was the scammer or the person who I bought it from. One of them obviously knew it was a bad hard drive or they swapped it out when they bought it and then they returned it to me. Let's jump right back into the story. So I ended up putting this on the shelf because I didn't know how to fix it. I ended up moving to Montana and found a job working on computers. I was basically my own manager. I ran the computer side of the business. It was a computer and a cell phone store. So I went ahead and did my thing, ran it for three years, and then my dad asked me to move back to New Hampshire, which is where I am currently living. So I moved back and I came back and I originally asked my dad what happened to this laptop because I'm like I want to fix it now that I have the knowledge and know-how of how to and he said that he gave this laptop away well after doing a little bit of prying getting some more information out of my dad it turned out that the laptop that he gave away was a working laptop so I just recently started digging about a week ago and found this laptop, my scam laptop, cheap scam laptop, upstairs in the attic. And I decided to fix it because now that I have the knowledge to do it, I might as well. Right? When I originally turned it on, did the same thing, boot device not found, and it was the notorious hard drive, which was the problem. This guy right here. I swapped it out with a solid state drive, which you will see in a moment. But yeah, let's just jump right into the actual fixing of the laptop. All right, so I've got it upstairs on my desk. Uh, these are the tools that I'm gonna be using. I got these on eBay. I say they were very cheap. I believe they were $12. Um, and then obviously I got some thermal paste and I have links to both of these down in the description below the video if, you're, if you want those. But let me get the back cover off of this guy. All right, so once you get all the screws out of the back of a laptop you're going to be fixing, um, you're gonna wanna make sure to take out the disk drive if yours has one. And mine doesn't even have a disk drive, but it does have the actual piece that covers it because there's gonna be more screws underneath here. All right, so I've got the cover open, and on this one, there's actually a cable plugged in the motherboard that runs the speaker in the back. So you just gotta undo that with one hand. There we go. And then it opens up. 
So this computer's got 8 gigabytes of RAM on one DDR3 DDR3 memory RAM. Under here is the i5 5500 processor. And that is looking a little dirty, so I'll make sure, I'm going to make sure to clean that out. And then this is the hard drive that I've already replaced. I just for testing purposes, but it was it needed to be replaced anyway, so this is already done. Um, it was as simple as pulling this out, lifting it up, and then putting the new drive that I bought inside here. And if you're wondering what drive I bought, that's also down in the description. And then I just put it in there, and that's it. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up over here, and then I will be back. Oh, I almost forgot. I actually had this guy fall off. So that is a plastic mounting screw hole. So I'm going to actually get some super glue and put that back. The tool I'm using to clean this out is just a regular toothpick. And I'm just going to scrape this all, all the gunk out and get it out of the computer. All right, I got majority of the dust and hair out of there. I mean, there's still a tiny bit, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's going to work fine. All right, so I'm just going to be using the standard Gorilla Super Glue. And we're going to get that right there. Doesn't need that much, just a little dab of it. There we go. All right. And then I just need to stick that on there like so and just line it up to where it was before and let it dry oh also whenever you're like refurbing a laptop or fixing it you're going to want to take the heat sink off which is just two screws and then whatever is holding your fan down and you're going to want to pop that out and then do the thermal paste, which I was showing before, which is just this guy. You don't need that much on a laptop. It's like half a fingernail amount. And then you just put it all back together. They recommend doing that every like six years. And as you can see, it's already like squishing out the stuff that I did before because this has the video card part of the heat sink and I did the thermal paste on both of these, so. All right, so I've got the laptop cover back on. Just gonna slide the DVD drive in and then get all the screws back into it. Actually, almost forgot those screws. Hey guys, so the next thing that you're gonna need is a bootable thumb drive with the installation of the operating system that you want. For me, I wanted Windows 10, so I put it on my USB stick. <laughs> and then once you have it in the laptop and start it up, it will boot to that thumb drive. I made this video as an afterthought, after I already had this all finished and everything. Um, just because I didn't quite know what I wanted to do with my channel until about two to three days ago. And I made this video as an afterthought. So my computer, the scam laptop, as you can see, is already all set up and ready with Windows because I, I've already fixed it. And I made this video as kind of like the story of where this laptop came from and how I got it, how I was scammed, and how I basically didn't let me, that stop me um, from fixing it and making it so that it is still a working laptop, even though I was scammed in the end. And here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, like me finding cheap laptops, cheap computers, and refurbish them, start to finish, or you just enjoy the whole aspect of the storytelling, just like down below and subscribe. 
and more videos are soon to come.